She is a devoted, committed progressive, never is going to get out of that. You can't reason with her. There's no compromising with her. She's a far left individual. She lived in comfort in California because that's the system out there. But now she's in Washington. It's a little bit different. She is never going to change. Now, as you remember, uh, President Biden appointed her the czarina of the border to try to solve some of those problems down there. And, um, you know, Ms. Harris totally rejected that. She just didn't do it. It's embarrassing for Biden, but think about it. The president says, well, the vice president's going to be down the border to try to solve some of these problems. The vice president goes, no, I'm not going to do it. She didn't say that, but that's exactly what she did. She went on one short uh, jaunt to Central America to find the root causes, uh, you know, a bunch of BS, and then she never went back. And Biden's never been down there either because they don't care to even acknowledge there's a southern border. Anyway, she's now the point person on the Roe v. Wade controversy. And uh, yesterday she was in Atlantic City speaking to the NAACP. Roll the tape. We know, NAACP, that our country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies. And today, extremist so-called leaders are criminalizing doctors and punishing women for making health care decisions for themselves. Personal decisions that is her right to make in consultation with her doctor, her pastor, her priest, her rabbi, her loved ones, not her government telling her what to do. So the key uh, line in that is that uh, this country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies, obviously a uh, reference to slavery, uh, and she's making a comparison to the Roe v. Wade decision, slavery, Roe v. Wade. Well, this is preposterous. I mean, she's acting like the uh, federal government of the United States hasn't changed since 1860. I've submitted, uh, long submitted that Kamala Harris has no frame of reference, doesn't understand this country, doesn't care to understand it, sees issues in a racial prism that's worked very well for her, uh, would never under any circumstances be elected president of this country. So uh, even if Biden goes and she's a placeholder, she will never, ever win the no nomination, the Democratic nomination. She is a strident woman. Her polling numbers are lower than Biden's. I don't, I don't know how that's possible, but they are. So uh, the Democratic Party understands that the damage Joe Biden is doing to the progressive movement and the Democratic Party is incalculable right now. And a change can't get any worse, even if it's Kamala Harris. But in my humble opinion, she has no future uh, as far as the presidency is concerned. And that's the memo. Inflation now at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. A recession may loom. Our retirement accounts are in real danger. If you want to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Plus, tell them O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So don't wait. Please call now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD. Or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.